this video, I'll be reacting to three new sing pairs Hugh, Buffalon, Chorus, and Kling Clang, and Elisa, and Jyoti. So the first one is Hugh. He's probably su hopefully support, normal support, please. Better be support. She's a freaking normal type striker. Oh, not looking so good now. It's not looking good. I am a bit worried now. He's spotlight. Normal, you know, normal Unova rival, Unova adventurer, passionate spirit. Oh, that is very high attack. Oh, he's gonna, she's gonna have like double edge or something. Huh? Uh oh. Good attack. Defense with defense, pretty bad. Speed okay. First passive, recoil removal 4, 50% chance to remove recoil. Oh, that's why they changed the name of the recoil removal thing. Ah, to, so you, they can put number to put the percentage. Okay, now I get it. Okay, that's interesting. Reckless boost 9, powers out the user's move that have the recoil. That's 90% boost. Okay, this might be actually decent. Hughes determination. Okay, we're getting unique passives for Spotlight Scar. That's pretty cool. Except in certain circumstances, fully restore the user's HP just before the user faints the first time you do. Whoa! Though this is like plot armor. Nice. So you heal 100%. Does this work for sync move? Because sync move will bypass endo, right? So I don't know if this will work the similar way. That would be pretty cool. So let's see. One out of first move, headbutt. You can flinch. Yup. Third hit plus can max crit. Uh, double edge. Head charge. Okay. 25% uh, recoil. I'll take you on. Plus 4 attack, plus 2 defense, and special defense. Apply free move next. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about him. Trusted partners head charge regular sync move. Like, it's a normal type. The only problem with normal type is that you cannot on type, you off type everything. Which is a problem. So, like, 90% uh, boost is good. Don't get me wrong. But, like, is it enough? I mean,. We will know when we do the miscalculation. But overall, you can max crit plus 4 attack. Striker doing striker stuff, it's okay. Having this thing is very interesting, right? Don't know if this works for sync move. If it does, it will be pretty... quite broken actually. Yeah, let's move on to sync crit. 1 out of 5, you get nothing. You guys get headstrong and escape artist. 2 out of 5, you get a charge and 3, healthy healing, okay. Grass guard, okay. Natural remedy, okay. MPR 2 or trainer move. Not really, you have Pad Bar MJ3. Okay, 3 out of 5. Sing Power Flux, good. Some Sing Move. Furious Brawn, good. Haymaker, good. Shark Entry 1, okay. Recuperation 2, hmm, this might be decent. Recuperation 1, dude, good. You can flinch. Initial Pinch, Physical Boost 5. Plus 5, Physical Move up next. When you become, when you are in a pinch for the first time. This is actually. 5 is how many? 200% multiplier. That's like triple the damage. That's kind of crazy actually. Mighty physical boost 9. 100% chance to plus 2 ranks. Very interesting. Let's see the damage. I am not very confident in this damage. Let's hope. Okay, so we have something like this. And then we can do this. And yeah. I think this works for like full damage. So yeah, you're, you off type. So you just plus attack. And then yeah, crit. That's all. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad actually. It's okay, but oh yeah, oh we have the this one as well. Let's put to six. Okay, I mean it's okay, but let's be real. There's a ton of other strikers better than him. So yeah, yeah, you have two multipliers for regular move. It's okay. And the oh I just realized she doesn't have any stand fast. Oh shoot. So it's either fifty percent chance you <laughs> kill yourself or not. I mean, you do have this, so for long battles, he will not work. He will not work unless recuperation too. Okay, you know what? Hmm, it's maybe okay. You know what? Maybe it can work if you take recuperation too in like legendary gauntlet, right? Like long battles, then yeah, maybe it can work. You have to sacrifice some damage. Yeah, sacrifice damage. Like, oh minus one. What the hell? Come on. Yeah, this is annoying. Okay, for gauntlet, you probably want aggravation one actually. Yeah. Okay, we can do something like this. So you can flinch, and then you nuke, and then you heal yourself. Long battles, this one can maybe work. Let's see. Okay, nuke is still okay. Yeah, a bit mixed feeling on this one, but I wouldn't say he's bad, but I would say like, he's usable, but there's just so many other things better than him, and he cannot on type. So yeah. Next up, we have Chorus and Kling Clang. Still support. No, still tech, of course. Still Unova Villain Glasses Researcher. Cool HP. 
High special attack. Attack, not bad. Defense with defense, okay. Speed, okay. Um, Reaper effect 9, so he's gonna do some debuffing. That's good. Team critical shock 9, what is this? Raises the critical hit rate of all lasting press by one step rank. When the user attack mode is successful, get Whoa, this is cool. So you can plus crit. But then it's. You have to paralyze them. Not bad. On the row 1, okay. Let's see what moves he have. Clink clang. Like mirror shot. Okay, thunder wave. Okay, makes sense. Screech. I'm gonna guess mirror shot. Is it. Let's see. Mirror shot. I don't know. Yeah, mirror shot. Deep of accuracy. Okay. For science. So applies Moon Gear Generation plus 4 defense and special defense. Okay, so he's not a attacker, he's like an actual tech tech, right? Potential surpassing gear grind. So it's the paralysis multiplier. Okay. Very interesting. You can the fact that you can max crit is very solid. And you can AoE debuff defense, minus two defense and accuracy. Since 60% chance to debuff accuracy. If on the roll one, you can max crit that is already really huge. Paralyzed, defense debuff, aggressive debuff. Not bad. Let's move on to the single. One out of five, you get sand shelter and anti toxin. Two out of five, you get dizzying power. Okay, I don't think you want to use that because it's mirror shot. Pinpoint entry one. Oh yeah. Okay, that might be good because ninety percent accuracy and eighty five percent accuracy. Ninja three for thunder wave. Okay. Fast accuracy. Okay. Screech Ninja three. Okay. MPR two. Okay, metallic healing one. Okay, heal HP in steel zone. Nerves of steel. Reduce damage taken when steel zone. Okay, three out of five. Endurance good. Catalyst good. Go viral nine. So you can AOE paralysis. Okay, might be good. Static shock nine good. Something multiplier. Smoke screen sync two. Lowers the accuracy by two. Hopefully some accuracy multiplier will be nice. Infliction three B nine. Applies free move next effect when it's, it's. I mean, I don't think you need that. There's only two gauge move, all of them. So yeah, towering force. The more the user's defense is raised. Okay, good. Team sentry entry two plus two defense for all your team. That's good. You don't have any multiplier for accuracy debuff, so I don't really see why this one is useful. Unless you wanna play RNG, I guess. But like yeah, okay. The nuke will be something like this and that's pretty much it pinpoint entry plus one you just need plus one to make both thunder wave and mirror show 100% accurate and what other useful stuff you can do nothing else in the grid actually yeah i guess you can just take go viral 9 actually just get just aoe paralyze make life easier okay aoe deep, deep off defense 100 percent as well so that's crazy but really you can just take whatever you want you have six more energy just take some stats i guess you don't really know anymore okay, maybe you can take this okay now let's do the sync damage. So multiplier is with paralyze plus increase your own own defense. Oh I just realized you cannot max defense unless you take team sentry entry two because you only plus four from trainer move. But yeah, okay, it's whatever. Let's bring whatever support I guess. So paralyze. If we paralyze, let's see. Good damage. And then we can buff our own defense. Yeah, good damage. Mirror shot doing bad damage. Oh yeah, as a tag, he's very solid. Can AOE paralyze, AOE deep minus two defense, AOE debuff accuracy, sixty percent chance, but that it's still a debuff. And his nuke is also pretty good if you want to use a nuke build. So yeah, overall pretty good. Last one is Elisa. Sadly, we don't have infography for her. So let's just look at this one. So she has four now. Crazy. Okay, one out of five. This is stats we have. HP it's okay. Defense, which defense, attack, uh, attack, attack, almost the same. It's just okay. Speed is okay. Again, nothing crazy so far. Electro web, that's good. You can AoE debuff speed. Ooh. Oh, wait, just is it support? Yeah, electro support. Okay. AoE support, like can debuff speed. That's really good, actually. You can buff special defense. I just realized it's support having this low defense with defense is not too good. Five star. Uh, it's not the best. Okay. Leech life, interesting. Mutual improvement. Plus one accuracy to all rising press. Plus two crit. Okay, you can max crit. Solid. Sync move is dazzlingly bright electric beam. High part 1, so 20% chance to plus 1 which attack to all allies in press after using a move. 3 part 4, so you have 50% chance to minus 1 defense, uh, minus 1 speed again, so you minus 1 here, you minus 1 again from 3 part 4. Recuperation, okay, not too bad, sadly not 6 side EX. Team skill is electric, Unova, Gym Leader, Underla Town, and Artistic. So far from the base kit, it's okay. You can Hopefully NPR of obviously okay she has to have NPR for him. 
for this one. Okay, buff accuracy, buff crit, special defense, debuff, speed. Okay, it's not too bad. Just defense with defense a bit too low, so that kind of sucks. 1 out of 5, you get unbending. 2 out of 5, you get MGR3 for electro web. MPR2 for X special defense or the uh, MGR3 no. MGR3 no. MPR2, I don't see it being needed unless you want to buff more accuracy. And Leech Life MJ3, not bad, I guess. I don't know when you want to use this actually. His attack was attack very low, anyways. 3 out of 5. Healthy healing, good. Endurance, good. On the ropes, 3. So reduce, a reduce damage from the user is hit by a physical attack. Or in a pinch. Adrenaline, 1, okay. Toughen up, 9. You can buff your own defense when you are hit, okay. Natural remedy, okay. Hem in, 2. 30% chance to lower target's evasiveness. When the user's attack is successful, okay. Let's say 4, okay. Nothing crazy, it's an okay support. It works. Again, the only problem is those defense with defense, so tanking with her is gonna suck a bit. So, uh, MGR, obviously. Okay, you don't need accuracy because you have chicken plus 1 already, right? Okay, take MGR. This healthy healing and endurance is good. Then we don't need to take MGR now. Then we can take maybe toughen up, yeah. Or maybe first set is probably better. Not enough energy. Uh, it's always one energy. Why? I guess you can sacrifice healthy healing. And yeah, then honestly, I don't really know how to make a grid for her. Yeah, maybe you can just say I'm unbending because some stages debuff fans, I guess. Yeah, overall, I wouldn't say that like, good, but it works. Crit support is nice always. Special defense buffer is also nice, and speed debuff is nice. You also can buff the attack, but 20% chance they don't really want to like rely on this. Recuperation one as well. That's nice for Gauntlet. 